Bucks coach. Of course, the man in charge of the Seawolves, Anthony Gilardi, was a graduate of Ohio State, a Big Ten rival of Ohio State, as Penn State will get started and get underway and immediately score in six seconds. Yeah, I mean, that's right. That's not good thought for the Seawolves here, uh, Taylor. You know what I mean? Right up the bat, right down Broadway. Yeah, I didn't even have time to fully introduce you <laughs> as we were starting the game, and Penn State immediately shows why they were the number fourth ranked team in the nation to start the year. Colby Baldwin off the quick play and faceoff win gives Penn State the early lead. But, Tim, certainly this is going to be an exciting matchup and a tough one for Stony Brook, another yeah. top 15 team they have to face. No, absolutely. I mean, there was a reason behind the madness of, uh, you know, scheduling Rutgers, Penn State, and Carolina for the Seawolves. Um, you know, but, hey, you know what? Uh, every game is different. Every game uh, starts off with, hey, you know what? Debacle. So now Stony Brook trailing by two, still relatively early in the first quarter. They eventually pick up the face off, but the ball still gets almost away from Stony Brook. It does, however, land in the hands of the Seawolves. Yeah, to, to, to please, excuse me, to have uh, Noah finish. There's a new face-off. Penn State aren't able to come up with it. It looked like the Nittany Lions were going to grab it, but a good hustle on the play, and Stony Brook will retain the second, third opportunities. They're going to make you pay, and, you know, it was a three-on-two right there and a good finish. So Penn State lead by two again as we get set for another face-off. So far, both teams were tied two and two. And Stony Brook, Benetti, that's his sixth goal of the season, and it comes at an important time for Stony Brook to make the game 3-2. to two. But yeah, certainly showcasing his ability on that play right there. Yeah, you know, tell us you do. Sometimes you need, you need your best player to, you know, make a big play. You know, sometimes it's not all X's and O's and system and that midfielder, and um, it's kind of a low to low. Um, you know, uh, maybe it got under J-Mo stick a little bit there, but that stick side low, I think, you know, uh, McLaughlin would, would want that one back. We'll have some time to try to make up a few more saves as we continue the first quarter. 251, a hard-fought face-off going the way of the Seawolves. And they've done a great job in the circle to start these possessions and prevent Penn State from having immediate responses after their goals. Yeah, and that's a great job by Robbie Smith. Again, a sophomore who didn't play a ton last year. Dodges, right? They're looking to stop the Dodgers immediately. So they're exposing the inside. So they're getting the one slide to the ball, but the two slide on the back on the back side. Um, is not getting to the crease, you know, and that's another big win by Robbie Smith again for the Seawolves. Great job at the X. Now the Seawolves, if they could quarter ready to go, 4-3 lead for Penn State. You're watching on Lacrosse TV. I'm Taylor Storthy alongside Timothy Tuttle. And so far, Stony Brook has played well. Penn State still have a one-goal lead and now have won the faceoff to start the second quarter. From the wing there and is able to go low to low on uh, – uh, McLaughlin, it seems like that's what Penn State's going to attack. Low shots against McLaughlin, so uh, puts the uh, Nippy Lions up by two. So the Seawolves conceding the first goal of the quarter. They were able to respond when conceding a few times back in the Fiend quarter. This faceoff, we'll see if Penn State can regain possession or if Stony Brook and try to get back on the board, but also be careful as another violation for Baldwin would see a man advantage headed the way of Stony Brook. Lehman had two hat tricks in his first games and now is one third of the way. That's his first goal today as Penn State win yet another face off. Face off. Yeah, Taylor, it's coming at you very fast. I mean, these guys can shoot. That's his third violation, so that'll be a man up for the Seawolves. So as things were getting worse for the Seawolves, they'll go a man up. And now we'll get to see that man up. And yeah, to make a shot like that from distance takes a lot of poise, a lot of precision. And for Macklin, that's just a really tough play to save. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we talked about it earlier, Taylor, right? I mean, hands-free shots by these, these athletes is... You know, it's going in the goal. It's going in the goal. It's simply, you know, I mean, and Penn State has proven that, right? They get the Seawolves defense to collapse, right? And then there's that big 
shooter up top that's able to you know bring it right down the middle of the field and it's tough for him to find yeah. the open man on the outside and that allows that cut to be a point blank shot that you just can't stop armitage gets his second goal of the game the first multi-goal scorer of today for the sea wolves that's his seventh on the season as the fight for the ball commences and there'll be stony brook picking it back up and that'll be huge as they just scored and can keep trying to build some momentum because even yeah. if they are trailing by a few goals entering halftime getting one more goal or even two before the break on the board it's Bonacci's second point and first goal of the game and unless there's something immediately after the face-off Stony Brook will have that last goal of the half to take us to the break face-offs won by Penn State but they'll have to try a 40-yard shot at this rate and they'll they'll just hold on to it and be satisfied The second half set to get underway. We're back on Lacrosse TV. Penn State and Stony Brook. And the second quarter certainly had gone the way of the Nittany Lions, but the Seawolves scored two to take us to the break unanswered. And maybe that'll be enough for Stony Brook to try to get some momentum. And getting the face off has certainly helped as we resume. And so, yeah, what do you job. think that Stony Brook? should focus on find him in a group of defenders and as cool as you'd like nonchalantly Bellin just spins and fires it into the near post and there's nothing you can do Fracion is not ready for that shot and now Stony Brook have scored three goals in a row to make it 9-6 and have turned what was a dominant Nittany Lions lead into a pretty exciting game Seawolves have taken command in the third quarter and have yeah. made this a 9-7 game the hometown the crowd, the whoever is out there in the snowy stands, <laughs> is certainly loving this resurgence from Stony Brook as they look to get back in the fight. And a violation by Baldwin. Uh, uh, Taylor, i got to make a correction there. That wasn't Patrick. To end what had been four straight unanswered goals from the Seawolves, but still plenty of time, 10-18 to go in the third quarter. And, of course, we've got a full fourth quarter afterwards to play but the Nittany Lions will win the face off which is definitely going to be useful to try yeah. to build some momentum for themselves well that's a great point by you Taylor too you know that's a big goal by the Nittany Lions to stop the uh, momentum here from Seals you know Penn State makes you pay yeah that time it's trainer finding the net his second goal of the game but just great movement great vision for the pass and Stony Brook just left way too much space for the Nittany Lions to operate in. There's some oohs and ahs throughout the stadium. Face-off, we're set to resume. 8-22. Here in the third quarter, are left to go. I'm Taylor Sorley, joined by Tim Tuttle as we present to you this absolutely exciting matchup between two powerhouses of their respective conferences, Penn State and Stony Brook. And now Penn State lead by six once again. They had been leading 9-3 back in the second quarter before Stony Brook got back in the fight with four straight goals. But Penn State said, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. And now we've won the faceoff and are back on a break. Day and his eighth goal of the season. How about a day? He's had a few very good days to start the year, and this is yet another. Penn State will get the face off. And now the Nittany Lions in a position to try. That's just a tic-tac simple play, and you know, he's able to finish it. The freshman has been on fire today. Yeah. Not only was he able to score five goals in his first two games, he now has a hat trick today, eight goals on the season, 430 to go in the third quarter, and that lead is back to four but Penn State will have the ball, but not for long. It's actually going to be, oh, no, they will actually have it for a little yeah. longer. Four goal lead for the Nittany Lions, but Stony Brook has proven that they know how to score quickly and score back to back. We'll see if they can get this even closer as we resume play for quarter number four. Stony Brook pick up possession, but there are a few Nittany Lions pressing hard on defense. However, Stony Brook now will get some space to bring it up the field and start the Seawolves off with an attack. Great job, good snap off the face off there, right? As you can see by today, four goals, but that's a great slip by him and a great look by Dupuy. And speaking of Dupuy, I know we haven't mentioned him a whole lot. That's because he's 
not been in the goal scoring role, but in the goal making role, setting up and finding those key passes. That's his fourth assist of the game, his 12th of the season. He leads Stony Brook in assists by a pretty wide. Take that one more pass to X. Uh, that's a tough give up on a, you know, uh, you know, Seawolves defensive. I, I, again, like I said earlier, you know, I don't think, I think they played, you know, uh, well enough to win today. Just, you know, the, the Lions just make you pay at certain times. That's yeah, just, they are clinical when they need to be. Yeah. And take a look at the stats as well overall. While Penn State has had nine more shots, they've only had four more shots on goal. So both teams have been challenging each other at a pretty even.